New York City is perhaps the most iconic city in the world. The Big Apple has long been known for its towering skyscrapers and, of course, its hectic and fast-paced lifestyle. The city that never sleeps has over 6,400 high-rise buildings, the majority of which are located in Midtown and Lower Manhattan. The Big Apple is a city that is constantly changing, and there is now a big number of skyscrapers under construction or currently being planned, several of which are above 300 meters tall. With these new projects underway, the city's iconic skyline is set to change faster than it ever has before over the next 10 years. In today's video, we'll take a look at five of the next super tall skyscrapers in New York City and how they're set to change the skyline of the metropolis forever. But before we continue, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you could be the first to learn more about incredible multi-billion dollar mega projects from all over over the world. Number 1. 270 Park Avenue According to Foster & Partners, the architects behind the design, the 423-meter-tall tower will become New York's largest all-electric building. Construction work has already begun at the site, which was once home to the 215-meter Union Carbide Building in 2018. According to the architects, this building will be built with sustainability as a core principle of the design. A staggering 97% of the construction materials from the tower's predecessor will be recycled, repurposed, or upcycled. In addition, the new design promises to increase the amount of ground-level open public space at the site, replete with a plaza and expanded walkways. This will be a very welcome addition for all New York pedestrians in the area. The design also provides tenants with a variety of wellness and sanitary amenities such as air filtration systems, a health and fitness center, indoor vegetation, and touchless technology. It's predicted that 270 Park Avenue, which is set to become J.P. Morgan's new headquarters, will reach a height of 1,388 feet. This would make the skyscraper the city's sixth tallest structure. Number 2. Two World Trade Center this building is destined to be one of the most visible towers in New York City, altering the unique skyline of downtown Manhattan forever. The skyscraper was originally designed by Norman Foster, but the project was unfortunately halted for many years due to a lack of tenants. In 2015, there was an increased interest in those looking to occupy the building, which led to the redesign of the building by Bjarke Ingels Group in response to the increased needs of the interested tenants. However, the developer, Larry Silverstein, felt unsure about whether to keep the old design in favor of the new one. Despite prospective tenants preferring Bjarke Ingels' design, Larry made the final decision in 2020, saying that he'd abandoned the Bjarke Ingels design in favor of a new Norman and Foster design. The new building design includes pocketed landscape terraces positioned across all four sides of the skyscraper, a very striking architectural feature. Another notable feature in the facade is the series of vertical bands that run the structure's height. These metal strips serve to break up the monolithic appearance of the tower's longer sides and emphasize its verticality. No start or completion date for the two World Trade Centers has been announced, but we hope to see progress begin as soon as possible and finish in the latter half of this decade. This would bring a long-awaited closure to the rebuilding effort of this sacred and important Manhattan site. Number 3. 350 Park Avenue This skyscraper is said to be one of the most exciting skyscraper projects proposed for New York. What makes the project unique is that two buildings will be removed to make room for the new skyscraper, which will be leased to a major corporation. 350 Park Avenue is in Rose Hill, a neighborhood of the northeast of Madison Square Park. The planned skyscraper will include 1.68 million square feet of office space and over 50,000 square feet of amenities, beginning with an arts club on the first level. High floor amenities are said to include a sports club, auditorium, dining rooms, a sky terrace, and a sky lounge. Architecturally, 350 Park Avenue would be a startling departure from the historical and contemporary stylings that now dominate the Manhattan skyline, with a stunning blend of classical, massing proportions and an ultra-modern exterior evocative of Foster's Hearst Tower. With progressive setbacks advancing inward from Park Avenue, the envelope would decrease significantly from the street level to the rooftop, like a cheese grater in a silhouette. 
This design surely makes for an interesting addition to the Midtown East and will make an impression amongst the overall Midtown skyline. Number 4. Tower Fifth New York City developer Harry Macklow and global architecture firm Gensler have proposed a 96-story, 474-meter-tall office tower in Midtown Manhattan that could become the city's tallest skyscraper by roof height. The new tower would be erected near St. Patrick's Cathedral not far from 432 Park Avenue. According to rumors, the skyscraper project depicts a glassy rectangular building punctuated with square windows, ironically nearly identical to 432 Park Avenue. The facade will be clothed with a costly and energy-efficient facade, a style that is rarely seen in the United States. The tower would be divided into three volumes at the top, and the lowest block would cantilever out to house the city's highest observatory with access to a corkscrew slide. This is one of several features as well as office space and luxury amenities such as a pool, a yoga room, and a multi-level running track. Tower Fifth's offices would be elevated above a tall glass lobby offering views of the cathedral. Macklow has already met with New York's planning department, the Landmarks Preservation Commission, and Community Board to discuss the project. Number 5. Affirmation Tower The Affirmation Tower has been proposed by the architectural firm Adjay Associates. The skyscraper is intended to be built over a 1.2-acre empty lot at 418 11th Avenue in Manhattan, a location where the state of New York has issued a call for ideas to occupy the site. The Affirmation Tower is a projected 95-story, 507-meter-tall skyscraper close to the Hudson Yards that would house the headquarters of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. The tower will be made out of stacked boxes that will be progressively expanded in size, with the tallest one on top giving it an inverted aspect when compared to regular skyscrapers. The architecture intends to become a new civic reference point for the city and abroad. The early design includes houses, two hotels, an ice skating rink, and an observation deck. The massive tower will also house a variety of businesses, making Affirmation a destination for a mix of hospitality, retail, and commercial businesses, as well as accommodating visitors who enjoy gushing over modern architecture. But the Plaza Garden, which features beautiful tributes to historically significant black New Yorkers, may easily become the most popular attraction in the building. Former president of New York's Hotel and Motel Trades, Peter Ward, stated that the project would provide a much-needed economic boost to the city's workforce and tourism industry. The project will generate $4.4 billion in new economic output per year and create thousands of jobs in construction, design, and development, as well as boost tourism for the millions of people around the world who will be excited to see this iconic skyscraper. So that's the list of the five skyscrapers that are set to change this iconic city skyline. This skyscraper city is one that has grown and evolved so much over the years, so much so that it's hard to imagine that in 1899, 15 Park Road near City Hall was the tallest office building in the city and the world. The building, which has been preserved, only stands at 120 meters and spans a mere 31 stories. But back then, building a structure of such height was considered an extraordinary achievement. A lot has changed over the past century, and the new super-tall buildings in New York City will be three or four times as big, ushering in an exciting new chapter for the city. So what do you think about New York's new skyscrapers? Are you excited to see the iconic Skyline's new additions? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and also make sure to give this video a like. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.